Here we are at Koh Samui Airport, arguably one of the cutest airports in the world. And straight out the box, this is really impressive. As you can see, this comes up whenever I start my wife's laptop. Um, basically, it doesn't have a graphics card that's suitable. But even with that, I think it looks fantastic. All the settings are on low end. Um, I started off without the Bing world data and the photogrammetry, and uh, that was pretty good too, not too bad. Um, but then I tried it with the Bing, and I think that's down to your internet connection. It's well worth putting it on if you've got reasonable internet. And we do have reasonable internet here. And when I first came here 16 years ago, it was even sweeter. And uh, I remember it had this little veil belt that was about three meters long. <laughs> Didn't do anything really. This is without the Bing World Data graphics and live weather. Uh, this is back with it. Still quite fine without it, I think. It's playable, um, but much better. And as you notice, doesn't seem to be any difference in performance. If anything, I would say it seems to perform better with the Bing, maybe because it's coming off the internet. I don't know. So if you've got good internet, I would say put the Bing on and give it a try because it's great. Uh, also notice there's more buildings and things when you've got the Bing on. So this is with it off. Photogrammetry, a live weather I've got on now as well, which is fun. As you can see, that's the data bit where you uh, put on the Bing. This is back with Bing. And as we come from Samui, and then you can see the island over there in this fantastic diamond. As you can see, all the uh, settings are very low end and still it looks great. I think the plane looks fantastic. And that's Copenhagen in the distance. I've taken off from Samui. There's Samui in the background. My idea is to, you know, sitting here with COVID restrictions on Copenhagen and dreaming of taking my daughter around the world and showing her the sights. I started thinking about a flight simulator again that I used to have in the early 90s. And uh, I've seen uh, the latest footage from the 2020 version on YouTube and was blown away by it. It's absolutely fantastic with people with the proper computer. And uh, so anyway, so slightly different angle really here than the usual one. Obviously I'd like to learn to fly as well. Um, but I also wanted to, because they claim to have mapped the whole world. I thought, wow, wouldn't that be great to check out some and do some sort of virtual tours with my daughter. So I've got it and checking it out and I have to say really impressed. I live on Copenhagen, so the best place to start to check out how it squares up with the real world is home. And this is my home, luckily. So my idea is have a look. And so far, so good, very impressive. This is all on low-end settings as well. If this goes well and people enjoy the videos and want to see more, I get a thousand subscribers or more, then I'll get a full-on computer that can handle it properly. So please like and subscribe if you like it. It'd be a real help and it'd be much appreciated. But whatever, I'm enjoying it and it's good fun. I'll carry on doing it anyway in my own little way otherwise. Copenhagen is a short hop from Samui. Let's go and see how well it matches up with reality. This is a game without the being, as you can see, different, but still enjoyable. We come in at the southeast tip of Copenhagen, where Hadrin is. The location of the famous or infamous full moon party, depending on your point of view. Uh, not at the moment, obviously, because of COVID. Personally, I'm not a big party goer, but I have to say it's a lot of fun and even I enjoy it. It's good for all ages. Uh, on this side, of the, it's the southeast peninsula of the island. And on this side of the peninsula is Leila Beach and where you'd come in on the Hadrian Queen if you want to go there. It's uh, quite isolated from the rest of the island. So uh, if you want to get there, the Hadrian Queen takes you directly from Samui. Otherwise, there's lots of other ferries that go to Tongsala, the main bit of the island. Uh, sea Tran, Long Prior, Raja Ferry. Uh, if we come in close, you see how cool I am. Wow, I just never knew I was so cool. If 
flying planes makes you cool. Look at that. Fantastic. And this is coming in on the I-5, a seaplane. And I can't believe that you can go down like this and see this much detail. It's fantastic. This is the bit where the Hadrian, Hadrian Queen comes in. There's no tall buildings like this. These are obviously generic. Um, it's, it's illegal, I think, to be above the height of a coconut. There might be one fairly tall building, but nothing like that. Then you come along to Leela Beach, and it's definitely not like those buildings. Um, but I don't think that ruins it. They're sort of generic, obviously. Um, these are photos of mine of Leela Beach. Very romantic, lovely beach. And at that peninsula, at the headland, uh, there's this walkway you can go around. This is looking back towards the plain, I suppose. If we carry on round the headland towards the Full Moon Party Beach, I believe you can walk all the way around there. If you can take the heat, or if you haven't drunk too much after the Full Moon Party, but it's very quiet on Leila Beach. And, uh, very nice. Then as we come in to the Full Moon Party Beach, I'm going to take off again and go over the island. This is a photo of mine from kayaking. Uh, towards Hadrian Beach. See, it's really got the feel for it. And there's the actual beach. Uh, Covid times, much quieter now. The Full Moon Party actually has 20, 30,000 people on there, they say. At the heights, the whole beach is full. I'm not a party guy, but they're good fun. I have to say it's good fun. And uh, just very silly and very relaxed and good feeling, I think. Um, maybe other people have had different experiences, but for me, it's always been good fun. Uh, when I first came, 15, 16 years ago, this was like every night you could come here and it'd be like half a full moon party. It's got a lot quieter in recent years, even before COVID. But the full moon party is still full on. It's still very exciting. Uh, we'll fly over. That's about how built up it is, I would say, even if the buildings aren't accurate. Uh, there's a view of Samui. Beautiful view. Love it. Some stunning views. And there's the Layla Beach we're just going over. And that's the Full Moon Party Beach. We're looking towards Tong Sala, that western tip there. So, we head back round. The eastern side, very uh, quiet there. There's a couple of beaches have got some resorts there, but it's very, very quiet. Most of the island is actually a national park, more than 50%, the Tanzanet National Park. Pristine tropical rainforest, absolutely beautiful. Dense jungle. You can drive through the middle of it. There's now a good road down to Tongno Pan. So here we come back on the, uh, oh, back on the Bing data. Okay, and then back on being. Now, as we head towards Tong Sala, we're going, there's a Bantai Road runs along here, where a lot of the action happens in the island. Anywhere north of this is way quieter. Still resorts and still fun things to do at every beach, but this is where most of the action is, and some of the other parties, the Half Moon Party, Jungle Party, all that sort of thing, they're in from there. They're also very good. So, we come along the beach. Now, this thing they've really got right. This harbour, that's just how it is. It's that harbour, and then it's got that entrance like that. Look at that beautiful island. Oh, I love this place. And that's the Bantai Road, taken from my car cam. And that was heading towards the plane, and then if you turn left, heading north, you see instantly quieter. So, they got some photos coming of, uh, there you are, of the harbour. That's what it looks like. Excellent. Then as you go a bit further on, there's lots of bars and things and restaurants, everything for everyone's choice. I, I personally like Sunset Walk, it's very kid friendly, all white sands, you can sit with a happy hour cocktail looking at Sumui is great. Unfortunately I haven't got very beautiful photos of it, it's because there's lots of friends and just taking us silly people, so there you are. This is the Bantai Road, obviously pre-Covid, there's a festival going on. And that's the school. You can see it down there. That's the pitch, the, the sports field, and that's on the pitch. And these are the beaches off this side, looking towards Samui, as we head towards Tong Sala, which is this corner here. And this is the main market town. There's a couple of islands there. 
Bidder Knock and Bidder Nye, I think they're called. I should know that. Anyway, as we come in, they've got a big building here, which I'm pretty sure is not real. Um, I do call this jokingly on New York because it is the main market town, but believe me, it's nothing like New York. It's just beautiful. And there's a lot going on there, though. There's a Saturday walking street market, loads of restaurants, shopping, uh, things like that. It's good fun. The night market's a great place to eat and cheap. Uh, then as we come into this beach, have a look around. They don't seem to have got the main pier there, though. There's a car ferry that comes in, the Raja Ferry, and Long Prior and Sea Trend come in there as well. And then there's another uh, pier on from that for um, Song Sam. So that's the pier, which they seem to have missed from that beach. And that's from the Raja Ferry looking back towards Tong Sala. And there's looking towards Samui from that sort of angle, from that beach. And there's a recreation area there as well. That, um, it's good fun. I'm just amazed. They've got the right colour of the paving. Look at that. If you look at the left, top left, and that paving. That's right. That's good detail, I think. It's great. This is fun. This is really good fun. Over there on the horizon, you might see the Angtong Marine Park. Um, and then that photo is of Naiwok, which is just outside of Tong Sala. All the beaches are beautiful. Uh, that's Hing Kong, looking west on the sunset, of course. And uh, that's from Ao Cove, Lao Cove, a French restaurant, very nice. Lots of great cheap Thai restaurants too. Sunset, obviously, on the west. Then we've got this main road. This is our super highway. This is the largest road we've got that goes from Tong Sala to Chalat Lam. Only about 20 minutes to go up it. And uh, that's car cam again, heading towards those mountains. And uh, <laughs> one of my many crashes to get all this footage. Um, this is without the Bing. I still think it's great. It's a good feeling of being on Penang, even on that low graphic setting. And I like the buildings. They may be generic, but look, they're kind of Thai generic. And uh, I like this one as it goes through the woods. And I crash into that house desperately trying to take off again until this house met me. Oops. So, there you are. Nice. It's a beautiful paradise. So as we head up, Khao Ra is the tallest mountain we've got with all the mountains. I think Khao Ra is officially a mountain. I've got a photo in a minute. Ah, and as we go up the uh, Chalatlam Road, it curves around to the left. If you carried on, you'd go into Pang Waterfall and you see that mountain. There we are, as the road curves round that we go through the middle of. That's that one on the left of that. Khao Ra's to the right. That's the tallest mountain. I've got a photo in a minute which shows its height and it, I think that does officially make it a mountain. It's just enough meters to count. Uh, I live around here. This is Manua Wai. Don't think they got my house. Anyway, here's that's Khao Ra on the top and the view from it. Um, and then as we come round, there's some photos of what it looks like, the island. I think that's pretty good. Side. Fantastic. And some of the jungle plants. Wow, what a beautiful place. And it's great fun flying around over it without annoying anyone. And some movie in the distance there. Oh, there's me and my daughter having a look. And these, obviously I haven't done the whole island, I just thought it would be an introduction. All these are other amazing, beautiful places, Tan Sadet, Talat Lam. Um, if you like it, I'll do some more. I had great fun doing it. Got Raham, Tong Nai Pan. So many places to look at. So, final thoughts. Oh, I think you've guessed by now, <laughs> I'm very impressed. It's really got the feel for Koh Phangan. You wouldn't expect individual buildings to be all correct in a whole world modeling. I think this is just unbelievable. Um, and anyway, I've got it all on the low settings. I feel confident that if I go anywhere else around the world, it's really a good representation of what's there. So very impressed. Um, I think that's enough. I don't want to bore you, this is enough for this. If you want more of Koh Phangan, which is a place that I love as well, I'm sure you got that too. Uh, and the surrounding islands, Mui Koh Tao and the Angtong Marine Park, then I'll happily do some more. Please leave some comments. And uh, if it's popular, I will do it. 
There is, of course, far more to this island than I've shown. I've just given you a very cursory glance at it. I can give a more detailed tour if anybody is interested. Otherwise, we're currently uh, checking out the Amazon, as I said before, my daughter and I. And that will be the next one. Stay tuned. Otherwise, we'll just carry on having fun, me and my daughter, exploring the world and in virtual tours. Thanks very much. If you got this far, thanks a lot. Like and subscribe and see you on the next one.